Hi everyone and welcome to Retrospect. In this episode I'm going to talk about my top 10 games in my collection that I'm never going to get rid of. Okay, so let's begin. Number 10 is Disney Golf on the PS2. I know, yeah, it's a, I first got this game um, because I used to play golf with um, my uncle on the uh, PC and he got a PS2 and so um, for some reason we ended up going to the video store and we hired Disney Golf. I don't know if it's because um, my cousins were they were young, young, but they were still in that age group where they probably liked this. Anyhow, <clears throat> we we really got hooked on this game, and just trying to find a copy of it was really hard. Um, we looked everywhere. It took oh, months, and this is this is like not long after it came out. I don't know if it was because they didn't release many copies of it, or somehow the video store got a copy before it ended up in stores. But eventually we came across it in uh, Kmart. Um, I think it was like $29, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's my number 10. I uh, really love this game, really fun. Um, it's based on another game called Swing Away Golf. Um, yeah, and I think this was released about 2002, maybe a bit later. So yeah, my number 10 choice. Uh, number 9 is Outlaw Golf. Don't worry, they're not all golf games. There's not 10 golf games in my collection. But this one I got uh, after playing Disney Golf. But I got it on the Xbox, the original Xbox. I had it on the original Xbox. I gave that away to one of my cousins. Oh, yeah, 10, 10, 15 years ago, um, and couldn't, oh, looked everywhere for Outlaw Golf 2, couldn't find it anywhere, um, eventually found a copy, very fun, this is more adult oriented compared to the Disney Golf, um, very funny, um, yeah, so my number 9 is Outlaw Golf 2. Uh, Outlaw Golf 1 is similar to the second one, it's just two is a bit more fleshed out, it's got a bit more characters. Um, yeah, so Outlaw Golf 2 is number 9. This is Spore, the Galaxy Edition. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I bought this brand new, original copy. Never get rid of this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's had a bit of spoils. One of those games that had a lot of hype at the beginning. Um, some people were a bit disappointed. Um, I was, yeah, the. Uh, I was expecting a lot more from it than what I actually got. Um, but, yeah, enjoyable. Uh, it's pretty fun up until, yeah, probably the space stuff. A lot, a lot of people prefer the space stuff, but. Um, yeah, I, th I think it kind of ground to a halt to me when you once you got into space, you really could just visit planets and interact with other species, but you couldn't land on the planet. And I know they, in later expansions, they fixed that problem, um, which I do have. But yeah, Spore, one of my favourites. Okay, <clears throat> number seven is Keystone Keepers on the Atari 2600. Um, loved this game as a kid. Um, I used to play it all the time to the annoyance of my brother. Uh, so basically in this one you you play the police officer and you got to catch the criminal. Um, when I play it now it's quite, quite simple but when I was a kid I, I found it very difficult. So yeah Keystone Capers, number 7, I think it came out, uh, 84 maybe, 83, maybe 83, uh, this is not my original copy, um, uh, our 
my uh, the Atari that me and my brother had when we were kids. Um, yeah, it's like everything in those back in the nineties. Got rid of it, but yeah, picked up another copy. Very happy. Play it all the time. Okay, number six is Hell, a Sober Punk Thriller. Now, I got this, this is probably the first game I, one of the first games I got when I got my first IBM PC, or IBM compatible PC. Um, it was an Acer 486. Um, yeah, I initially, I I'm really love venture games, but I got into this one because... For some reason at that time, this is uh, 90, 94 maybe, 93, I was really into, um, for some reason I, I started watching Dennis Hopper movies and I'd watch anything that Dennis Hopper in. I think Speed might have, the movie Speed might have come out and yeah, I kind of thought, oh geez, Dennis Hopper is a really good actor and I went back and I started, you know, re-watched, uh, re-watched Easy Rider the whole heap of thing. Anyhow, so after I picked up my very expensive 486, which I think I took me 12 months to pay off on a payment plan, and uh, yeah, and so I saw this game, I saw Dennis Hopper was in it. It was one of those, um, one of the first, it's kind of like a cross between video, um, live video, and CGI cap video capture, so I, th I think they used a mixture of that. Anyhow, it was point and click, a bit of an uh, action adventure where you had to do, you know, uh, it was like a platform, and then it went back into like solving puzzles, picking up clues, whatever. Anyhow, so that's another one. Number six, Hell, a Cyberpunk Thriller. So, number five of, um, now this is kind of like more of a collection of games, it's the Mario Party, Mario Party collection games. Um, I've got, um, four, five, uh, eight, nine, and ten, um, obviously on different formats, four and five are on GameCube, uh, I think there's two or three on the Wii, and, uh, one on the Wii U. Um, and I think I've got a couple of, I've got, yeah, I've got them on the, um, Nintendo DS and the, uh, Nintendo 3DS. So, um, I'll never get rid of these, as I'm glad I love the Mario Party games. Okay, my number four is Dragon's Lair Escape from Singer's uh, Castle. Um... Uh, this this one is on the Amiga 500. I got this when I got my second Amiga. After um, got rid of my first Amiga when I got upgraded to the IBM. Wish I never did that, but that's another story for another time. So I picked this up. Um, I think it was ten dollars. The sticker's still on it there. Love this game in the arcade. Um, used to always beg my parents, "Can I play it?" I think it was one of the more expensive arcade games you could play. Where yeah, like mum and dad were like, "Come on, just yeah, Star Wars is over there, or um, whatever the twenty cents. I think it used to cost us twenty cents to play a game. I think this was more like a dollar or something. Yeah, even at that time, it was really expensive to play. Anyhow, one game I'm glad to have. I do have um, Ace Space Adventure. I think it's called. I do have that. Um, but yeah, really love this game. Never get rid of this one. Number three on my list is Leisure Suit Larry, um, The Greatest Hits. would love to get the individuals, one, two, and three. Um, but I, this is another game I got when I got my 486. Um, saw it on the shelf, had to get it. Um, the guy was a bit concerned because I think I was about 16, 17 when I, when I picked this up. Um, I think he wasn't sure if he should be selling it to me or not. I'm glad he did. Um, this package has, I think, up all six plus the original soft porn text classic that Legacy Suit Larry was originally based on. Um, so it has all those. Um, yeah, never get rid of this.
Is it Larry? One of my favourite games. Now we get into number two is Maniac Mansion on um, this is the Commodore 64 version. I got actually I got this for my birthday, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so <clears throat> this was the second graphic click and point game that I played. First being, um, which is coming up, is my number one choice. So yeah, so I got this is the original box. I got this for my birthday. Um, yeah, never get rid of that. Thanks, mum. Um, yeah, so I actually picked this up recently on the uh, Nintendo Nintendo NES. Never didn't even realise it had been ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System. So I haven't really got around to playing it on the NES yet. Uh, apparently, it's a little bit more family friendly. Um, they had to change it. Nintendo wasn't too happy. Apparently, of some of the um, more adult humour in it. Um, I don't think there's a lot because I don't remember a terrible lot. But uh, obviously, there was a couple of scenes in the original that they weren't too happy with. So, yeah, maybe one day I'll get around to playing it on the NES. My number one game that I'm glad to have in my collection is Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. Um, never had the original. Um, the first time I played this game was on the Commodore 64. A uh, friend brought it over. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't remember which friend it was. It was either my friend Stephen, my friend Edward, or my friend Jamie. Um, they turned up one day, had this disc, and said, you got to play this game, it is hilarious, it's funny, it's cool. So we you know, t got the uh, Commodore 64 going, put it in, booted it up, saw the title screen, saw the music, fell in love with it straight away. <clears throat> what, what, why this is my number one choice um, is it's the first game that all my friends got together and we played it together. Usually it was just like me and another friend or one of us sitting back watching another friend play one of the games. But this one we all got together, you know, tried to work out what was going on, how to solve the puzzles, had a great time. Eventually did complete this, but um, funny enough I didn't complete it with um, the three friends that I just mentioned. I actually completed it with uh, another friend of mine, another friend that I'm still good friends with, my um, friend John, and we finally decided we're going to sit down and we spent all night playing this game. Now, I tried to get the original box for this. Mum took me around to all the um, computer shops at the time, couldn't get an original copy anywhere. Ended up just copying yeah, the copy that my friend had. And, um, yeah, then eventually when I uh, moved out of home, I moved, you know, I moved away. I was going through the uh, local Kmart store. And for some reason this was in the um, bargain bin. It was missing, it had the discs, but it was missing the newspaper and a few other odds and ends, yeah, that you got with it. But um, over the... I think eventually then um, I went, I think the funny thing is I went back, um, I, got, I got a steal and I went back a couple of weeks later and obviously they must have found the newspaper and everything else because um, yeah I picked it up in a, um, in a just, they just had it in a bag, yeah they just had it in a bag and I picked it up, added it, added it to this box and uh, yeah I ended up with a complete version. So, <clears throat> that's my number one pick. So that was my top 10 games that I have in my collection. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, or a thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, it, leave a comment below if you want to tell me about a game that I should add to my collection. Um, or ask me if I have a game in my collection. Or if you'd like to see more videos of what I have in my collection. If you... Um, you can subscribe and hit the little bell and you get notified every time I upload a video. And thanks for watching.
Thank you.